Hello everybody, it's Drew Sims here back with another video and in this one I am actually doing a current household update. So this is my first ever current household update that I have done on my channel but I have been playing this household for a little bit offline and I've really been enjoying it. There's been a lot of drama that I wasn't like planning on, it's just happened organically in the story. Um, let me just get rid of Brittany Cho real quick because... <laughs> It's gonna be so annoying. Wait, let's just try and yeah, let's just get rid of her real quick So this is my sim Serena Winslow and in my household I'm just currently playing with Serena and her little cat cookie cookie is so adorable We just recently adopted her Serena is basically just a university student at the moment So she's currently doing communications at Foxbury I think she wants to go into some kind of media relations thing and she also works part-time as a shelf stalker But to be honest her parents Parents left her a large sum of money before they unfortunately passed away and she moved to the city so she often blows off work and kind of has just been living on her savings with that said she started with like 35k and is down to 18k which is still a lot but she's slowly losing money so it's something to keep an eye on we might have to actually um, start going to work more as for her traits she is self-absorbed um, like I said her parents did unfortunately pass away but when they were alive they spoiled her a lot and they were quite rich so she is very self-absorbed she is also a bookworm and outgoing she gives me student body president vibes you know and like kind of like Gilmore Girls or Gossip Girls kind of vibes too um, oh she got a good reputation that's awesome I think she gained the active meat and cat lover traits through gameplay or she gained like three traits through game gameplay I'm not sure which ones but um, she's also she does have a weak immune system she's bad at video gaming extremely bad at pet training and good at rocket science she is also a gesture, so she really likes humor and silliness, and she's a sage because she's kind of like an intellectual. <laughs> so we are currently on a date with Josh Brendan. I did not make this sim or choose the name, but I did, when I first moved Serena into the city, I kind of placed down a bunch of sims from the gallery around so that we got a little bit of variety in the sims we met. And Josh was one of our neighbors, and we actually had like kind of a love-hate relationship with him at first. Like we immediately found him really attractive, but but it took a while for us to kind of give in to that attraction and he was definitely seeing other people like we had to knock on his door because he was like with somebody really late at night and being really loud and it was kind of <laughs> like we got really jealous about it wait so we just got this it looks like Serena just befriended a family motivated sims um Serena likes family motivated sh sims yeah sure because I think he is family motivated and for some reason he did ask us on a date and that's how we loaded in but for some reason it went badly um I don't know how it went badly but it is what it is also she does have a UTI because we um had a lot of woohoo with Josh after I don't know if we've like actually made it official but there was a point like we were just having a lot of woohoo with Josh to be honest um, oh, we're not even like technically official yet. We have been with some other people, but our only real romance has been with Josh. Um, Sandy is our best friend and she actually has a slight crush on us. She did ask us if we wanted to, I think if we wanted to be like woohoo buddies or something. I forget exactly what. She asked us if we wanted to like go out with her or just be woohoo buddies. But like, as you can see, she got this sentiment because we did reject her because we just want her to be our friend. And I'm pretty sure she's our, yeah, she's our best friend. And what's really sad is that we did at one point hook up with Josh a few times and it turns out that Serena fell pregnant and we didn't know. And by we, I obviously mean I didn't know because I didn't even think it was a possibility. I do have like the protection stuff installed, so I didn't think she would be basically by the time we found out um serena like she did have a doctor's appointment and during the doctor's appointment she um the doctor told her that there might be some complications and she really does need to take care of herself and we were doing our best but unfortunately we ended up losing the pregnancy so it was really really devastating for serena this happened um i think a few days ago in game which obviously in the game is quite a while also while she was actually pregnant she started being treated for a uti i don't know if that's like that affected it i do have like quite a few mods installed in my game so i don't really know what exactly caused it 
but it was really really devastating because she also really did want a child like she's at the point in her life where she would really be happy to have a child and i think for now like we were just on a date with josh but i was gonna have her take a little bit of you know some space like i said we're not even official with him yet i kind of want to wait until he asks us in game if possible i don't know if there's any way to trigger that oh let me also introduce you guys to cookie <laughs> Cookie is our little cat. Cookie is, I'm pretty sure, a mischievous or like a misbehaving cat or something like that. Um, yet the most adorable cat ever. In terms of her class schedule, I only have her taking three classes, which isn't like too much of a lift, especially because she's like only working part time as well. I am like, I'm not pushing her to do all her homework and stuff right now because frankly, she's been through a lot in the past few days and i just like i can't i can't bring myself to also i j i want to show off the really cute selfies we took with josh and with sandy our best friend and our hopefully soon to be boyfriend but also like i'm not sure if josh is the one you can see even in that picture he kind of like he's not the most affectionate and i feel like serena needs somebody more affectionate <laughs> than what josh can be but we'll, we'll see we'll see about that okay so she also has the close-knit lifestyle because she has like two good friends three if you include her cat i think i'm gonna make a little club for her maybe do yoga we can all do yoga together that may be really cute oh let me add the icon too I'll just do- no, I don't like that. <laughs> Is there like a more club icons mod? Cause if so, I need it. <laughs> I'm so indecisive and it doesn't even matter. So now we have our little friend group. That's something I've been meaning to do. Let me have her just like draft this term paper and then I'll probably just take her to bed to be honest. Looks like Winter is having a party. Let's go pound on the door real quick. She is our friend, so hopefully she listens to us. I mean, we haven't really told her about what's been going on with us personally, so maybe that's why she's being so inconsiderate, because usually she's not. Frankly, usually it's Josh who does stuff like this. Josh lives in this apartment and Sandy lives in this one. Sandy actually recently adopted a cat and it's so, or I'm sorry, a dog and it's so adorable. Isn't there a way to just like ask her to keep it down? One second. I thought there was like a way to ask nicely to keep it down, but maybe not. Oh my God, winter. That's so rude. Hey, I live here too. I'm sorry your life is boring. Maybe you should go to the lounge and have some fun of your own. Okay, at least she turned the music down and we can just go to bed and sleep it off. She's feeling super dizzy from being on her period. Ugh, that's the worst. Okay, let's just, let's just have some pancakes. How about that? How about pancakes to make you feel better? Look, she's already so much happier. <laughs> it's from the thought of pancakes. Just cheered her right up. Oh. My final is today. I literally didn't even realize. Oh, I think we're gonna do really badly this term. <laughs> Did somebody just walk in? Winter just walked in my house. Girl, not, not right now. Not after yesterday. Hey neighbor, I'm bored, wanna hang out for a bit? No, I actually really, really don't. And she's taking a bath. No, just go away, I can't. I can't right now. <gasps> yes, we know that you adopted a dog. <laughs> <laughs> let's take um wait i can't take cookie with me okay fine let's just go the dog is so cute we've already met the dog last time we were staying over there and i have gotten her the always welcome trait which is in my opinion really nice to have if you ever want to do like stay over is for storytelling purposes just because that means you can cook and sleep and like shower in other people's houses let's offer friendship super quick because this dog is the cutest thing oh she does have a computer so we can go ahead and we can go ahead and do our um submit our term paper from here look at this adorable doggy rose and sandy yay we're friends She's actually like such a cute dog i don't even know what breed this is all right we're submitting the term paper oh okay we did get academic probation caught cheating serena was caught cheating and is now feeling the shame of having okay you know what i have like the way it's not even a major mood lit right now like 
that should tell you how much more she has going on. Let's come talk to Sandy. For some reason, Sandy has been dazed a lot recently. I wonder if I have like a neighborhood action plan on. I think she's gonna ask like about Josh. I mean, let's ask her what she thinks about Josh because like we haven't really updated her. Oh, Josh is asking us to go to the park. How about we take Sandy with us? I really wish we could take Cookie. For some reason, it's not letting me take Cookie anywhere. For some reason, he's in such a bad mood. Maybe he's mad that we brought Sandy. Like, I thought they were friends, but maybe not. What is there to do around here that's fun? What park is this? <laughs> I actually don't even know what world this is. Like, I can't tell. The way I'm lo- Oh, this is Copperdale. Okay. <laughs> I wish we had gone to the freaking Ferris wheel thing. But oh. Oh, I can't. My class still starts in an hour. I, like, maybe we should just not go, to be honest. How about we ride the Ferris wheel? We can ride with Josh. I don't think I've ever actually done this interaction. Like, yeah, I think we're just not gonna go. <laughs> Cause I think we know how it would go if we tried to do the final exam. Like, it simply wouldn't go well. So maybe it's for the best that we just skip it. Oh, are they done already? Was that it? I didn't even get a mood lit. Okay, well, that kind of sucks. <laughs> They're just like gossiping. She's just telling her like, I think Josh and I are really hitting it off. Like, I think he's gonna finally ask me to be his girlfriend soon. Sandy does not look enthused about that idea. She's just like not even involved in the conversation and she's being kind of sassy about it. Um, so I think we're just gonna go home. We skipped our final exam for this and freaking Josh just like was tense the whole time even on the Ferris wheel ride and then just like went to play chess with Victor and Sandy's just like not reciprocating. So we're just gonna go home. So I brought her back home and <laughs> we got her final grades. It was all Fs and that was, okay, listen, we had a rough term, so we will do a lot better next time, but we are now on probation and we have a C minus. C minus. We also did, okay, let me sign her up for another term. Oh, I think I wanted her to be in the PR career. That's why we're we're doing this. But anyways, we also got bills. And um, in addition to that $720 payment we just did, we also have like $700 bills. Let me go pay them. Yeah, $734 bills. So as you can see, like we are slowly losing money. I know, and she doesn't realize it yet, but we're really seeing it already. Like we are, we're not doing well with money. I'm gonna have her go for a quick jog just to like clear her head real quick. Okay, so I. I just loaded back into Copperdale because I wanted to see like what exactly was going on with Josh. So I put Serena to bed and I came back um, into Josh's household and I came back to him and Sandy um, hooking up, <laughs> which I did. Okay, I did not expect that because Sandy is literally Serena's best friend and we have talked to her about Josh a lot. So she knows how we feel about him and how much we want to be with him. I'm just a little bit in shock right now because I didn't even like cheat this. I know that like we're all neighbors, so I guess, so like we all know each other and I guess our paths got crossed, but I did not expect this to happen. I think what makes it worse is that Sandy was like there for us supposedly while we were going through the loss of our pregnancy and everything. So like, I guess it was all an act. Like it was actually all an act. What exactly, do, do we even know her at all? That's my question. Like we, as Josh, we don't know her at all. That's what I'm confused about. Like I didn't even know they were this close to be having this much of a romantic relationship, but he still has like much more of one with Serena and he feels that we're deeply connected. I just think Josh is not a good guy, to be honest. I feel like Serena, as Serena, we need to find uh, somebody else. I think it's also interesting that Cookie hates Josh. Like, damn, I didn't, I actually didn't realize that. <laughs> All right, I loaded back into Serena and she's like, at least she's in a good mood. She's like blissfully unaware. <laughs> Poor thing, I actually feel so bad. Her treatment was successful. You know what, I think like going forward, we need to focus on ourselves. Like we have an, an adorable cat. We have to focus on our degree, otherwise we're not gonna get a job <laughs> and we're not gonna be able to afford this apartment. We're not gonna be able to afford any 
apartment or house going forward so i'm gonna end this current household update here i think it was sufficiently drama filled serena deserves better she deserves a better friend and she deserves a better partner for sure but anyways guys thank you all so much for watching i appreciate you guys be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below um let me know if you want more updates of this household going forward and i'll be sure to film some and yeah i reply to all of my comments and i love it when you guys comment so please do make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see Rue later bye guys <laughs> she said bye guys too